Jesus, once a blind girl who despised herself simply because she was blind, except her beloved and caring boyfriend. She detested everyone in this world. He was there for her at all times. She expressed her desire to marry her boyfriend if she could just see the world. Someone donated a pair of eyes one day and she was able to see everything including her family members and her boyfriend. Now that you've seen the world, will you marry me? Her boyfriend asked her. When she discovered that her boyfriend was also blind, she was taken aback and refused to marry him. Her boyfriend cried as he walked away and subsequently wrote her a note in which he said, Just take care of my eyes, dear. This is how the human brain responds when the status changes. Only a few people remember what life was like before and who has always been there for them even in the most painful situations. Blindness is far more a state of mind than it is a condition of the eyes. Once you go blind, unfortunately, words are all you've got. Until you see beauty everywhere, in every face, until then you are blind. Nobody sees anybody truly, but all through the flaws of their own egos. That is the way we all see each other in life. Vanity, fear, desire, competition, all such distortions within our own egos condition our vision of those in relation to us, add to those distortions to our own egos, the corresponding distortions in the egos of others. And you see how cloudy the glass must become through which we look at each other. That's how it is in all living relationships, except when there is that rare case of two people who love intensely enough to burn through all those layers of opacity and see each other's naked hearts. A shadow is never created in darkness. It is born of light. We can be blind to it and blinded by it. Our shadow asks us to look at what we don't want to see. Sometimes painfully lost people can teach us lessons that we didn't think we needed to know or be reminded of. The more history changes, the more it stays the same. There are many degrees of sight and many degrees of blindness. What senses do we lack that we cannot see another world all around us. How often have our own tears blinded us to the tears of others?